I'm farming here in partnership with my parents and my wife Sarah. We're farming six miles south of Korean and we're farming roughly around 100 hectares of grassland. Currently we're um, milking 180 autumn calving cows um, and that means that we're calving all our cows within 12 weeks between September and November. We're trying to breed a smaller cow to suit our production system and one that's more efficient at converting grass, which we grow lots of here, into kilograms of butter fat and protein. Our average annual yield per cow is 8,200 litres roughly um, at 4.34% butter fat and 3.47 protein. We're currently running about 0.28 kilograms of feed per litre. Um, that has been improved vastly um, over this past few years because we've got a new milking parlour which is feed to yield technology so that means that every cow in the herd is fed differently to the amount of milk that she's producing which allows more accurate allocation of feed to the individual cows. We have obviously been a new partner two years ago. Um, the cow flow in our handling system has been improved vastly. The cows want to come into the parlour and the cows want to be in the milking parlour and they're a lot more comfortable and um, obviously comfortable, happier cows produce more milk. This year the cows went into grass on the 20th of March and they've grazed every day um, since then. Um, grass growth has been good this year. We measure grass each week with a plate meter. So we get a feel for every paddock and how much grass is in that paddock. Cows are housed on basic cubicles with foam mattresses and they're bedded twice a day and they have access through the winter time and the winter months to a total mix ration that we make which is basically grass silage and um, a small amount of concentrates which is fed through a feeder wagon. This past few years we've built about a kilometre and a half of new cow tracks which give us access to different paddocks throughout the farm and we've built uh, lots of electric fences and we put in 15 new water troughs to allow the cows to have better access to water throughout the year. We soil test the farm, half a farm once a year, so the field is tested once every two years basically. We used to apply the slurry just with a splash plate um, and now we apply it with a, a trailing shoe and a dribble bar. So by spreading slurry through the dribble bar and the trailing shoe it allows us to lower our carbon footprint. Within the farm here we've got a, a wood-fired boiler, so throughout the farm we've got a lot of woodland, so in the winter time we, any trees that are blown down we go up and we cut them up and we use it throughout the year to burn through this boiler and the boiler heats the water to feed the calves throughout the year and also heats the water to wash the, the milk and parlour out with. Well my father, father bought the farm in 1963 and I, I took it over uh, to manage it in 1970, so I've been farming since then. Um, 50 years almost. 50 years, yes. Uh, and there was a, originally a mill, linen mill on the farm. Uh, it was sold off before we came, but we still have quite an area of woodland and two old mill ponds, which we have uh, converted to a wildlife area. I've been interested in conservation all my life, and we're very lucky to live in such a wonderful area with the trees and hedges. Um, over the years I've planted quite a few hedges on the farm and laid hedges. Um, we've been in the countryside management uh, as well and we've also we've won the Grassland Society Conservation Award and yeah. we've also won an All-Ireland Conservation Award so it's nice to be recognised yeah, for, yeah, yeah. for the work that we've yeah, done. Yeah. Um, and by managing it and planting trees and letting the trees grow uh, we're helping to reduce our carbon footprint so within the building behind us here all the rain water is collected off the roofs. We get over a metre of rain here in this part of the world so we collect all the water from the roofs and it goes into the tank and we use it to wash the, the yards and the, the milk and parlour out with. My generation are environmentally aware of where their food comes from and I think it's important for us as farmers to demonstrate that our food is local, it's got low food miles and it's got a low carbon footprint and it's better for the environment. We had the Efficiency and Sustainability Report carried out in September 2018. The point of the assessment was to find out um, a baseline for um, the farms, for our farm and other farms. There was 9,000 farms across the UK and Europe analysed and told us that our farm is very efficient. This farm performed better than the average farms across Europe. 
We use the information to establish a baseline and drive efficiencies throughout the farm. It's important for consumers, it's important for the retailers and ultimately it's important for us.